Hi Pisces, welcome to your singles reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I'm adding to the channel and this is a love reading for singles. Looking for new love, wondering who's coming towards them. This will sort of be a fun reading. So this is who is coming towards you. So we will look into a couple different signs. Uh, what their energy may be like, maybe what time of year, how, uh, when you'll meet them, what kind of connection it could be, some advice clarified with tarot. So I hope you like this. Please do give me some feedback and let me know if you do. And I've also added a new series that will be coming up. So keep out, look out for that. And it's messages from your spirit guides. So I hope you do enjoy the new series. So Pisces. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, all kinds of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you so much for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me and helping the channel grow and flourish, being a part of that, uh, connecting with me, liking my energy. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for the subscriptions, for the uh, people who've reached out for personal readings and those who have tipped or donated to the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much okay Pisces hope everybody's doing well happy fall happy Halloween all right so the first thing we're gonna do here is just get a couple signs see what we get see what kind of energy may be coming into you for singles don't have anybody in your life right now and you're just kind of wondering gee will I meet somebody who may be coming towards me what kind of new love may I have coming in? So we'll see. So a couple signs for Pisces spirit, please. Pisces singles. Oh, so we have Leo and we have Neptune, which I believe is uh, your energy, which is Pisces. So <laughs> you could be meeting another Pisces or a Leo. Wow, interesting. Fire sign or a fellow Piscean, I guess is how you say it. Wow. All right, so let's see what kind of energy will this person be in? What is their energy like? Let's see what we get here for their energy. What are they going to be like for Pisces singles? Pisces singles. What is this energy like of this person that Pisces may be coming into? Growth. So we have... I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I think this is someone who is very in tune, in touch with themselves, their personal growth, their professional growth, always striving to do better, to uh, give more, do better, grow, expand their horizons um, in any way, shape or form in all aspects. So that's a nice energy, always eager to learn more, uh, to have more knowledge. And you see a lot of blue here, which is about uh, the throat chakra, which is all about uh, the mind and the, also, the, you know, it is about communication um, and that sort of energy, but it also, to me, it represents also the mind verbalized with, you know, with your mind, thinking process, thought process. So really do see here somebody um, always wanting to expand themselves and may also support you in your growth, you know, support you in your journey and what you want and strive for in your life also. Wow, that's a nice energy. Somebody very, I feel very supportive that will support you no matter what avenue you choose to go, ta go down, no matter what you choose to do with your life, they will support you. And I think they would want the same in return. And with the blue there, I do feel, you know, that is about the throat chakra. So very open, honest uh, person, a lot of communication. All right, so let's get like a time frame, like what time of year, like season. Do we have one card for Pisces? What is the time frame? Can we get a time frame for Pisces with one card? When could they meet this person? So we have the Six of Swords. So that's air energy. So that's winter. So, and I'm not taking the energy of what the card means. I'm taking the energy of um, 
what the card, what season the card represents, and the swords represent winter time. So, could be this winter. Hmm. Okay, so. I mean, it does say their healing begins, so it could be a very healing uh, connection also between the two of you. But the swords there do represent winter time, so winter energy there. All right, so let's see um, where, like where could you possibly meet this person? Where could Pisces possibly meet this person that may be coming into their life, this new love? Who's coming towards them? When, uh, where? Where, where, where could they possibly? Wow. <laughs> okay, we're going to take this one. Healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others, so you may meet them like at a doctor's office or the hospital or like a therapist, counselor, or somewhere where you go for uh, treatment, or you have an appointment, like I said, hospital could be any sort of doctor's appointment or something like that. So somewhere around, or even, um, you know, maybe you bump into them if they're like an EMT or something like that, you bump into them somewhere and they have their uniform on, or even a firefighter or something like that somewhere where someone actually rescues somebody or someone who is actually a nurse, a doctor, a physician, or in that type of setting. Hmm. Okay. And, and it can be, you know, also, like I said, a counselor, or maybe if you go for like Reiki healing or a chiropractor or something, any, anything, that's where you probably meet this person. And maybe, you know, they're a new, uh, patient and you run into them and or you know maybe you just never run into them before and all of a sudden you run into them hopefully nobody's having surgery but um <laughs> i don't know so we'll see um so that's where so some sort of you know setting like that but let's see like how how would this meeting come about between you and this person so we have turn on the light Hmm. And I got this card for I got this card for somebody another sign and I don't remember but um it could be like uh, maybe you have to ride in the ambulance or something and they have the lights going <laughs> and that's how you meet like the EMT technician or something like that and you kind of strike up, you know, a connection or something like that or um you know, you could be passing by, or, you know, a rescue or an ambulance or something like that. And somehow you meet them that way. Hmm. We're going to clarify all this with the tarot. So definitely here with lights. So turn on the lights. Um, you know, the only thing I can think of is when you're riding in the ambulance or a police car or something and they have to turn on the lights. So, hmm. Or you could even be the tech EMT technician or the nurse or the doctor or working in a hospital or something like that and they you know come rushing in with a patient or, or something something's that's sort of setting and I hope nobody is like really hurt or sick or something like that but there's some sort of setting like that here hmm. all right so and it's so funny because now that I see healing begins here and you have healer turn on the lights <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, one of you like has to go for therapy after some sort of incident or something like that and now you know you connect with the therapist or something like that well because you have healing begins healer Wow and you have growth there I'm mean, healing as part of growth Wow so <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Uh, I just noticed that how that said healing begins in healer. Wow. You know, winter can be a dangerous part of the year if you're living, if you especially if you live in the Northeast or where, wherever there's a lot of snow. I know there's a lot of accidents and things like that. I don't want anybody getting into accidents 
or anything like that, but it does happen. Unfortunately, it may be under some sort of circumstance like that, but I, I don't know. I don't want to give bad juju on anybody, but this is the energy I'm getting, so hopefully it's nothing serious. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see with this connection, with this connection, what kind of connection will it be if you connect with this person? That's way too many. I just want one. If you connect with this person, thank you. What kind of connection will it be? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So it could be a very spiritual connection, or it could be you actually have spiritual or religion uh, differences, or culture, or nationalities, or something like that, where something may play a factor may be good it may be bad uh, you may also believe in the same uh, religion or spirituality also so it can be good or bad so something here pertaining to religious factors hmm. all right so let's see let's see let's get some advice for you in this connection advice for you pisces in this connection advice for you or maybe you know for some reason you have to go to therapy or something and you meet a fellow patient and you're both going for therapy for the same thing uh, it could be something you know minor but something you need therapy for and uh, you know maybe you meet them that way also and it's like a light switches on like oh you know <laughs> wow you know you kind of click you just click with them like click turning on the light all right so what's the advice for Pisces with this future connection what is the advice for Pisces take these two so we have we have grandparent here you have a special bond with a grandparent that can never be broken hmm um, and water drink more water and eat foods with water in them such as fresh fruits and vegetables so kind of strange messages to get here um, hopefully like you don't have a grandparent that like gets dehydrated and then you have to rush them to the hospital and this is kind of like the circumstances where you kind of meet this person uh, it's a strange message, but that's the message I got. Uh, maybe you both consider your grandparents very special in your life. Um, something here around water. So could something with water uh, could also be a part of this connection for some reason. Hmm. Strange, kind of strange uh, advice there, but um, it's what we got. So... All right, I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else. Anything else for you? Anything else for Pisces? Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well, and you will. So, you know, maybe it's just believe in yourself. Believe that you can have this type of connection if you want it. Believe it will do well, and it will. So believe in yourself. Believe in, you know, having finding a connection like this is also what I'm getting. All right, so let's um, clarify Pisces with the tarot. Let's clarify with the tarot. You know, maybe something happens around water also um, that, you know, something happens and you end up, uh, I don't know, at the hospital or at a doctor's office or something like that. You know, it could be ice skating because you kind of see water here. Maybe you're ice skating at night and it's dark and you can't see and you're like, oh, I wish, you know, turn on the light. There was some lights here or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see. Let's clarify growth for the person. I feel like the very somebody very um, always looking to expand themselves. Victory, Ace of Swords. So yes, yeah, somebody always looking for something new, looking always looking for, um, you know, this is a sort of victory. So 
that never gives up on themselves, on their movement forward, on their being victorious, learning new things. Um, you know, this is sort of victory. It's, you know, very clear cut, open communication. So I think this person uh, is just not afraid of growth and expansion and communication and that sort of energy. Always looking for new clarity, looking for new ways to learn uh, and grow. Open, also very open to all new experiences. Wow, that's a nice energy. All right, so for time frame, we did get swords here, which is winter, which we got a sword there, which is also winter. So let's see if we can clarify um, this six of swords for the winter time. Let's see what we get here for Pisces. The four of wands. So this is fire energy. So the only fire sign in winter time is uh, Aries, but. We didn't get Aries here, but this is, but, uh, this is, you know, very happy, stable home life. Um, a lot of stability in home in your home environment and your home life. Um, trying to reward. So I think, you know, it will be a very stable connection here. They do, you know, will happen in the uh, winter time. The first card we had there was the Six of Swords. So let's see, because Aries, actually Aries, Aries is spring. And Sagittarius ends in December, right before the winter. So there aren't really any fire signs in winter. So, okay, so I'm just seeing, you know, a very, uh, Again, the Four of Wands is a very uh, fiery, passionate energy. It's also um, very stable, committed kind of relationship also. Very stable home life. And, you know, people coming together, you know, dating or solidifying together. And I, I don't know if it's going to rush forward that fast, but... Hmm. So for healer here, for how, uh, where you may meet them, we have the Star, which is all about healing energy. So again, yeah, healing, healer. So I definitely feel like here, healing here with the Aquarius energy. So um, I don't want to say this is too many of the signs because I don't want you to get too mixed up because we did get Leos and Pisces. So yeah, the star is all about healing. So somewhere in a, a healing environment, setting, environment, any way you can think of is how you may um, meet this person. Hmm, okay. So how we got turn on the light. Turn on the light. What is that about? What is that about? It's too many. What is that about for Pisces? We turn on the light. So we have justice here. So this is about balance. You know, again, with the communication, clear communication with the sword, balance, uh, things being justified with the justice card. So I feel like here, I mean, you could meet them in a um, setting such as, you know, something with the justice department, but I'm not really getting that. But with the turn on the light, like I said, it might be, you know, just, I felt like lights, like uh, rescue, ambulance, uh, something like that. But justice here is something that will be very, um, very uh, good um, kind of energy, something that brings in justice. So, hmm, I don't know. All right, so let's see for for what kind of connection well we've got religious factors so I mean you may have a religion or spiritual factors that are different or the same um, or nationalities or culture or something um, but let's see let's clarify that for Pisces so we have the page of cups so I don't think that's gonna you know you may be different or you may be the same, but whatever it is, I don't think it's going to um, 
really matter because now we have the page of cups so someone's going to offer love anyway it, you know loving words exchanges you know um hey let's get together let's meet up when i want a day i like you i mean we got that kind of energy here with the page of cups so i don't think the religious factors are really going to make a difference here um you may both know that but you're willing to come together and work it out i think with the page of cups energy or you could, you know, just be on the same page all around. Just have a very, because the Page of Cups can be like a spiritual connection and have very spiritual um, connection with this person. So let's see. You know, maybe, you know, with the justice here, this person comes and rescues you. <laughs> Serves you justice by rescuing you. You know, maybe they find you with a light. I, I, I don't know. It sounds silly, but... Um, I don't know. So let's see. Grandparents. So we have the magician manifestation here. So hmm, your advice. So you can manifest. So I think this, you know, if you feel, you know, so I, maybe you have a lot in common. Maybe you both really consider your grandparents like treasures here. And your grandparents have been very influential in your life to help you manifest what you wanted in your life, giving you a lot of great advice, encouragement, and things of that nature. So, and also manifestations that you can manifest this connection. You know, you both may have a very special bond with your grandparents. All right, so I don't know why the water is here. I mean, you are a water sign, so I mean, <laughs> maybe that's just to clarify. Okay, this is your reading. So... What do we have for water? So we have the chariot. So this is water energy. So this is movement forward, taking movement, for, movement, movement forward, success, victory, being very um, goal-driven and um, knowing your path and going on it and setting forth to get your very um, balanced success and victory here. So things moving forward and water is fluid. And it moves, you know, it's always moving. So this may move forward very fluidly between the two of you and with the chariot with that positive movement forward. Okay, so, or maybe, you know, if you are unsure about this connection, you need someone to talk to. Maybe you're very close to your grandparents or one of your grandparents and, you know, you share everything with them. Maybe that's the person to go to for um, advice. In this connection and maybe it is because of the religious factors here I don't know so let's see believe in yourself believe in yourself for Pisces Pisces if you do like this reading and my energy please do uh, like share subscribe comment hit the bell you'll be notified when I post new readings four readings a month so don't miss out on that and if you do thank you so much all right, so we're almost done here. So let's get one for believing in yourself. So the Queen of Swords. So this is someone who does believe in themselves, who stands up for themselves with truth and clarity, cuts away things not serving them, doesn't take any BS, isn't afraid to express themselves, and resilient. So believe in yourself and be resilient with this connection here. Wow. Wow. Okay, Pisces, so uh, that was your uh, Who's Coming Towards Me reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. New series on the channel. Um, I hope to see you next time. Sending you many light, love, and blessings, and good luck to you. And as I always say, with turn on the light there, always, always shine your light.